Are you pulling your hair out to come up with ways to create healthy lunch boxes that are actually going to get eaten and they're cost effective at the same time? Well, here are the three secrets for creating healthy lunch boxes. The first one is we all know that variety is the spice of life, so change it up every day. Pre plan your week, and if you're really onto it, pre plan four weeks in advance, and then you can simply rotate those each month. Makes it sound easy, but heavens, it certainly does make the process a lot more straightforward. Never easy. The second thing is always include your staples. The three main things would be always fruits and veggies. Chop those up small so that they're easy, especially for little, little hands, and they're going to be more likely to be eaten. The second thing is always have the water bottle in there. Even if there is water and you know that there will be water at the lunchtime, don't always assume it's going to get drunk unless you've specifically popped it into the lunchbox. And the third thing is some protein. So easy ways to do that are your pe um, peanut butter or any of the nut spreads. So go for things like sunflower seed or almond um, almond nut butters. They're brilliant. Even better quality than, than the peanut butters. And to pop those on wraps or have them available um, with, to have with sticks, like carrot sticks. Another one is pre-soaking your nuts and seeds and always giving those a good rinse and popping those in, in a little sealable container so that um, little hands can have those. And then the third thing is to, to keep things fresh. So you want to make sure that the goodies are, are going to be ready to eat and not tired by the time it gets to lunchtime especially in the summertime. And so keeping things cold, a great way is to freeze the water bottle and pop that alongside close by the lunch box if it's tricky to actually fit it in and that'll help to keep things fresher until lunch. If you're using something like avocado and even with your fresh chopped veggies and fruits, drizzle them with lime and lemon and that'll help to keep them fresh. And these, this is actually the main reason that I created Delicious Eating Naturally, um, um, a very convenient, straightforward, uh, no-nonsense <laughs> um, recipe book. And that's because from the parents' workshops, I find with busy parents, they were crying out for ideas, and that's, that's where the book came about. So check out the link if you want to find out more.